Now in my example, I'm gonna go to the packet.net website and click login. And I'm gonna log in with my account. So I'm gonna put in my email address, put in my password and click login. The packet.net management portal displays. And per the documentation, one of the first things we need to do is add an SSH key. You need to add your PC's SSH key to your account since the packet servers can only be accessed via SSH. And again, here's an article that helps you set it up. So how do we deploy a server? We need to register for an account. We then need to generate and upload an SSH key. This depends on the operating system that you're using. If you're using Windows, you'll need something like PuTTY to generate a key. And that's also explained in the linked documentation. The documentation also shows you how to set up a key using PuTTY. So let's do that first. How do we generate SSH keys? Remember, you need to do this before you set up your servers so that you can access the devices. So in Windows, we need to use PuTTY by opening up PuTTY Gen. In this example, I'm using Windows 10. So the first thing I'll do is download PuTTY. I'm gonna download the 64-bit MSI installer, and then I'm gonna run it. I'm simply gonna go through the installation process and select all the default options. Putty is now installed, so I'm gonna click Finish. I'm then gonna search for Putty Gen and open up the application. We're told that we can change the parameters for the key, even though the default ones are fine. And when we're ready, we can click Generate. Now we need to generate an SSH2 RSA key. So in key, I'm gonna select SSH2 RSA. And then I'm gonna click Generate. We have to generate some randomness by moving the mouse over this blank area. So just move your mouse until it generates a random key. I'm gonna save the private key. I'm gonna say yes to save it without a passphrase. Now in the real world, you should be doing that, but I'm only doing a lab here, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So I'm gonna save the file as David Private Key PPK and click save. That's now been saved. Now in the documentation, we're told that we should save the public key. Be careful with those instructions. I've had problems using that public key. So I'm gonna save it to my local hard drive as David public key dot txt, but I'm not gonna use that for packet.net. I'm gonna copy the output here and save that in a notepad file. And I'm gonna copy that directly into packet.net. Click on SSH keys, click on the plus, paste the key in, give it a title, I'm gonna use David public key. I'm gonna to set to the location as personal keys and click add. My public key has now been added to packet.net. So that's one of the first things you need to do. You need to add your SSH key to packet.net. The next step is to deploy your server. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.